and it beeped at me during that last Lionel fight. Um, east of the... Oh boy, I got a Blood Moon. Well, this might as well be a Blood Moon cooking video. What time is it? It's 10.55pm. Uh, I got about uh, 20 seconds or so to get to a cooking pot. I'm going to take a quick inventory of what I have here. Oh yeah, I only got two pages of food. So you know what? This is a great time to actually <coughs> show you guys not only Blood Moon cooking, but high level elixirs. Boy, I've been meaning to get one of these together and just never seemed like the timing is right. So my favorite cooking pot is the Wetland Stable. Alrighty, let's go ahead and, uh, I'm going to put my stealth clothes on here for faster running at night. I got plenty of time. Once the music changes at 11.30, you got the green light to cook. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get any bonuses on your meals. Really got to wait for 11.30. Uh, you'll know when the deep, dark, eerie music comes on that that's your cue. Now, I need to get some, uh... Fire chew jelly if I... Oh, yeah, I got plenty. Disregard. You actually have between 11.30 and 12.15 to do your cooking for your bonuses. That way, you know, if you are out and about and you hear the music at 11.30, you're like, crap. You got some time to get to a cooking pot, squeeze in what you can, and uh, get your meals cooked up from there. So I always use a four ingredient method for attack power. You're still gonna get your high level, whether it's Blood Moon or not. This is gonna give me either three extra hearts for a total of seven, or extra time, uh, five extra minutes. So that would have been a high level, uh, four heart meal there, at three minutes and 20 seconds. Thanks to the Blood Moon, I got eight minutes, 20 seconds out of that. Now you can't always pick and choose the up you're gonna get or bonus, or whatever you want to call that. Uh, I'm getting lucky here with the time. That's unusual. It's usually about 50-50 between the hearts and the time. Okay, wow, I can't believe I'm still squeezing them out. That's, this is unusual. And you can mix and match. You know, I can do like one banana, one razor shroom. Uh, stay away from the mighty thistles. That's going to throw your whole meal off. Same with elixirs. Stick to the fish, the mushrooms, and the bananas. Again, sticking with four ingredients, just to show you guys it really does work, high level. Now that time, you know, I got the extra hearts. So I would have normally gotten, what, six hearts out of that meal? That that way I got nine. And uh, I'm going to try an elixir, assuming I actually have the beetle. Ooh, I got one. I'm going to show you guys a really good, consistent, high level attack power elixir. Now here's the secret to getting high level elixirs. You mix food in with your beetle, and your monster part. You gotta mix food in with that. A lot of people, they're, they're on the internet saying, ah, oh, you can only cook with uh, insects and monster parts. Well, yeah, that's how you get your elixir cooking. But once you got your elixir cooking, then you can throw food in with that. Now, for elixirs, you have to use all five ingredients. Otherwise, you won't pull a high level out. Uh, you might, but it's hit and miss. This is consistency, is what I'm teaching you guys here. So for consistency, and that time I got my extra five minutes, so that would have been a four minute and four minute and thirty second meal. The blood moon gave me nine minutes and thirty seconds, but that's the, that's the secret right there, folks. You can pull out consistent high level elixirs. You just gotta throw food in with it. Okay, now I'll show you a speed boost, high level speed boost, consistent high level elixir here. Uh, fire chew jelly works the best for that. And frog. Stay away from the lizards. The lizard is kind of like the mighty thistle. That throws your whole thing off. Whoops, what am I doing? Brain fart. 
Alright, so I always use the spring, but I figured out you could actually use the screws here. So I got my... Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Brain fart. Okay. Chew jelly. Hot-footed frog. So yeah, stay away from the lizard. And then stay away from... What is it? Uh, Swift violet goes in there. Rushroom goes in there. And seeds go in there. What's the speed food I'm missing here? Swift carrot. Stay away from swift carrot. Swift carrot is like the mighty thistle of the attack power food. So swift carrot, mighty thistle are no good. So as long as you can work around those ingredients, you'll pull out consistent high level. There it is right there. High level. That would have been a 5 minute 50 second, but Blood Moon gave me 5 extra minutes on that bad boy. And just to show you there is consistency, I'll go ahead and whip a couple of those up. Again, I'm staying away from that swift carrot. Consistency. Uh, you can do this all day long with or without Blood Moon help. So that's my magic formula for speed boost. Ay, ay, ay. Now, maybe another monster part would work there. I never really tried. I just kind of landed on that one because it was consistent. So keep that in mind. Okay, what other elixir could I try to pull out for you guys here? Uh, stealth. That's a big one. Stealth elixir. Now, that's a tough one. I landed on white chew jelly because it glows. I don't know if there's any t anything to that, but um, I don't have any stealth fin trout, so I can't make you guys one of those. You need the stealth fin trout. I'll try two sneaky river snails instead and see what happens. And I usually use a mushroom. Or was it... Uh, it's either the mushroom or the nightshade to stay away from. Let's try the nightshade and see what happens. No, that's crap. Okay, so it's all about magic combinations of ingredients. Now, I had a good, high-level, consistent stealth elixir here, and you have to have stealth and trout, folks. And I can't remember which one you have to stay away from. I'm going to try the mushroom. So I forgot my monster part. You know what? I don't think that's right. That that might be it. You know, I honestly can't remember now. Because I don't cook stealth. So I'm actually not going to do that. Because I'm going to have to play around with that one and get back to you guys. I don't normally cook stealth because I have the stealth suit. So I just never bother with it. Uh, let's see here. What other elixirs can I throw together for you that, that are consistent and high level? Here's a good one. Two of those, two of those, and a lizzle horn. High level every time. And you can do the same thing for the, uh, the opposite elixir. So now here's something you guys need to note. There is no mid-level for, for uh, temperature. You only get low and high. So if you see those two icons, that is in fact a high level cooling effect. So now, just keep that in mind. A lot of people, they're cooking elixirs and they see those two icons for temperature and they get pissed off. They're like, oh, this isn't high level, it's only mid. No, there is no mid. There's only low and high. Alright, let's do the same thing with the opposite. And again, that's a lizzle horn. Boom. High level consistent warming effect there. Uh, I used to know a good one for the fireproof, but I, I've had trouble with that one lately because I don't have the butterflies, so disregard that one. What else can I cook for y'all? Consistent. That's what I'm trying to stick to. Defense. If I have the beetle, I do not. That's a bummer. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's pretty much it then. I got warm, cool, uh... Ooh, electric. I don't have the darners. Ugh. Okay, well... That's pretty much it for elixirs. Um, 
Now I just kind of need to take a quick inventory here and figure out what else I'm going to cook up. Ooh, stamina. Snake eyes. Four endura carrots. That's all you need during a blood moon. And I don't have that many. That's unfortunate. But I'll show you guys the uh, recipe for that. Just four endura carrots. Now blood moon will either give you a wheel in three fifths, or as you can see there, it's two full wheels. That was a blood moon. Uh, you're you're gonna get extra hearts or extra stamina for that. That's what it looks like without the snake eyes. I don't have one, but um, blood mood will also give you green. And I just only cook with uh, two fish. That's all you need. Blood mood will either make that almost three full wheels or just a little over two wheels. And that one did not give me the extra stamina. Let's see if I can pull one of those out just so you guys can see what it looks like. So moral of the story, folks, do all of your cooking blood moon to blood moon. Uh, go out and forage in between blood moons. Make sure you're prepared. Reason being because no matter what kind of bonus you get, you're always going to get something that you normally wouldn't have gotten. So that's why I always recommend all your cooking from blood moon to blood moon. I'm trying to get an extra stamina wheel. It's just not helping. Not happening. Okay, well, that's not what it looks like when it's extra. Let me see if I can locate one. I might already have one. There it is. So same, same, you know, two baths. That's just the Blood Moon boosting that up for you. It was two extra fits, I guess. Let's see here. What else can I cook for y'all? Uh, you do get one extra heart per hearty meal during a Blood Moon. Uh, hearty durians are normally four apiece. <coughs> So that would uh, normally be four extra hearts, but a Blood Moon will make that five. Boom, skis. Uh, Hardy Radish is normally five. The Blood Moon will give me six. So it's just one extra heart per meal. Not per ingredient, that's per your entire meal. But again, this is something you wouldn't have gotten, so take advantage of the Blood Moon. That's trash. I was trying to clear the trash first. Defense. That's another good one for a good, consistent defense elixir. You can cook that anytime you want. Now, that was not during a blood moon. Had that been during a blood moon, that would have been 9 minutes and 30 seconds. Or, uh, what, 6 hearts. So that's your defense elixir right there. So that's pretty much it, folks. The secret to cooking consistent, high-level elixirs. Put your food in with your critter and monster part, and you'll be right as rain. Now, it's all about magic combinations of ingredients, so if you're not getting it, go back to the drawing board, try different ingredients. Like, for instance, my stealth. I don't have the stealth in trout, so it, I just already know that ain't going to happen. I tried doing it with two of those. Yeah, it just didn't work out. So that's pretty much it. That's my Blood Moon cooking video. I hope that was helpful. Uh, best of luck to you guys out there in your cooking endeavors. Uh, don't, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to push this information out. And to do that, I need your help. So please log in. I know it takes a few extra minutes there, but, uh, people that are looking for this information with you would greatly appreciate it. Thanks again, everybody. We'll see you back for more Lionel hunting.